Hey my fellow diamond friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kali Kalu on the internet and I also go by the name of Kali and I'm very happy that you found your way to today's video which will be a post review of this beautiful finished canvas from Dreamer Designs. So um, this painting is Dogs Watching Santa. It's from the McNeil Studio Art Licensing.com and it's 90 by 60 centimeters or 45 by 23 centimeters. And like I told you guys, it's from Dreamer Design. So um, I'll let you know that I have an affiliate code if you want to get an extra 15% off of any canvas you want um, from Dreamer Designs. Just use the code Kali15 at the moment of checkout and I might get a little something for it. Um, as well. So this is the painting Dogs Watching Santa. I've been working on it for a little bit longer than I expected. I started it off um, in December, beginning of the month. Then we went away. I had a lot to do for work. So I did not work through it a lot and not as quick as I thought I would. And I finished it on in January, like um, more or less at the end of the month. So it took me a really long time. Um, because life happened, of course, because of work and so on, but also because of the confetti. I have to say this painting is so, so rich in confetti and I did not think that this would be the case. I think it turned out lovely and I will hang it up, especially during the winter time, like maybe not now, but I will keep it out for like next year's Christmas. I think it turned out so beautiful. And the thing is, the crazy part of it is actually that there are so many special drills in this kit. Like most of it, if I'm not going to zoom on the dock, are actually AB. So they put a ton of it in because let me try to show you. You will have a close up at the end of the video, but all of these white parts like mixed with normal regular white drills are ABs. Then you have the same part going on over here, like you have a lot of blue ABs in the shadows and in the snow. And then like nearly the whole white of the Christmas tree is also ABs. And I have to say that the placing of ABs is actually pretty difficult in the sense that um, if you use like, um, at least when I use my uh, putty and I try to place ABs, it's difficult because they have like this coating on top and so it will be much more stickier to them and it's really difficult to place them. So I did also lose some time with that. Then I also have to say that I did not use all of the ABs on the placements that they wanted us to use them. So I told you guys you have a lot of ABs mainly going in the snow. You have the blue parts in the shadows and also in the snow. You have all of the white of the tree which will be AB. Then you have all the stars here that are ABs as well as here and the sparkles in the sky as well so all of these will be ABs then you have a little bit of yellow um, the yellow part I think was where was it um, I did see it earlier maybe I can find it well we have the red in its color here and I think there was some yellow in here yeah like in the ribbons you can find over here so there were different colors you had also a little bit of yellow in the garment of like the deers but most of it was this white the clear blue and the darker blue shades so if this is something you enjoy like a really sparkly kit um, this one might be for you and I think this is really beautiful kit to work on in December or like the winter months and the sparkle does not bother me. I really love how it actually sparkles, how the tree turned out. And I think for Christmas time as well, a little sparkle is more than welcome. Um, what I also wanted to say is that my favorite part while working on this was definitely the tree. Just because I love how that one turned out. As for the, the placement of the drills, I told you I did not place all of the ABs. And that's just because like I normally you would place a much more white sparkly ABs in the deers and as well in the dogs. Like there was a lot of sparkle in the dogs, but I did not want to place these white ABs in the dogs. So what I did is actually I replaced these white parts with um, regular white drills that I had left over um, just to make it less sparkly in the dogs but I did replace it with um, 
some white dots here and there of a B so that it does still sprinkle a lot, like a little bit, but not as much as it would have been. So it's just like the snow is landing on top of them. It's not like they are really covered in snow because they have been waiting for so long. I really wanted to have a little bit less of a sparkle there, just so you know that if you, once I'm going to do the close up, you will see. I think personally that if you have a look at it, um, you see everything very clearly. Um, at the beginning, it was difficult for me to distinguish the houses in the background. I thought that for a, a hand rendered rendering, if I can say so, it was a little bit less detail than I thought it would be. Um, I love the end result still, but it was not as clear as I, s I thought initially it would be. Um, I love how everything turned out. There's just one weird part of it. And that's this deer here. Like if I have give you a close up on that. I just think his eye is so small, right? I could have placed the second one just to make it a little bit longer. The same as here. But it somehow turned out a little bit weird, that little deer. But for the rest, if you zoom out, maybe it's just because I know it. Like now you know it too. But if you don't know it, <laughs> it should be fine. Um, so yeah, this is it. Um, this is what the canvas looks like once it's done. Um, of course, like the canvas itself is sculpted, so I'm not going to say a lot about that. You know, if you know Dreamer Designs, they have a really good quality of um, canvas material. Um, the only thing I noticed as well is that while I could distinguish all of the symbols pretty clearly, uh, when it was getting a little bit darker, sometimes it was less clear. So I used my light pad underneath just to like make sure that I would see everything as good as possible. Then I also have to remind you that like my lighting does not work 100% at the moment. So this might have also played and it's my like kind of our fault um, and not it has not something to do with Rima design. Um, in general, like if you want to uh, like the painting, I will put a link down below so that you can have a look at it. Um, once you are done, like if you want to see how it is, what it turned out to be. I just noticed that I did pop off like a little bit of a drill. I'm just going to place that in again. Okay, it's fixed. Um, I did not yet roll over. Like usually I take these big baking rolls, I roll over just to make sure that all the drills are perfectly placed. I usually wait till the end of like my post review video just so that I can show you actually if the drills are popping. So here are of course no popping drills. If a drill comes off, it's just because I have not placed it uh, hard enough inside of like the glue. Um, in general, like there, it's not the first Dreamer Design canvas that I'm working on. And so far, I never had an issue with like any of these paintings. So I'm really happy with what I found and with what it turned out to be. Um, I just wanted to address another thing though quickly. That's the drills. So a little bit pet fur in it. Sorry for that. Um, you can see like these are the leftover drills that I did not use with a little bit of putty, I think it is. No, I don't know what it is. But um, more than usual, I would say like more than what I'm used to like with, for example, um, the drills I'm using in my current kit. But you see if there are like drills that were placed in this stash, it's just because there's a little bit something on it like the shape is not quite correct it's missing a little bit of a part um, then you have like sometimes with ab's that the shiny part is in the back like during production this might happen that you have some drills where like the shiny part is in the back instead of the front so it won't sparkle that was the main issue i had with this kit then you have like i said some parts where you had like some that did not get the right shape where there's still some tiny bits to it like and you can't place it because it's not a real square um yeah so these were like the main problems issues i had with the kids some stragglers that were there and i don't know why wrong color but like nothing really bad so um i'm not as picky either like i have to say that so maybe if you're really picky with your drills you might find some more um there were also a few air bubbles i did take out but um, drills with air bubbles but for the rest in general like the quality is really really nice i love this design and i would recommend it 
um, especially like I said during Christmas time. For me, it's really a Christmas painting. Um, there was also like another painting I liked, and I think there was four kids at one four seven who unboxed this one, and I think it's called White Christmas. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure about the right title, but it's like this, um, like this room all in white. And this is something I loved about this painting as well, because usually when you see a Christmas painting, it's mostly red, golden, maybe green tones, like for Christmas. And I was happy to see like that this year we got like other colors for Christmas that are not just red and golden and green. Now here we have this white and this like still golden but it's different color combination and it's really something that I love to see as well. Because we often have in mind this painting of Christmas being red and golden and warm. But you can also have like this colder Christmas with these colder colors here. So this is it. This is my post review. I hope you like it. You will get the close up video now on the kit. Like please remember that it changed a little bit from the original one since I replaced the drills, um, the ABs within the dogs for like regular drills. The same with um, the deers and a little bit of Santa. So be aware of that if you want to place it might sparkle even more. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed today's review. Um, you can leave me a comment down below, like, uh, for example, is there any Christmas kit that you would like from Dreamer Designs? I would be curious to see. I don't know if this one here is currently in stock, if you want it, but like Dreamer Designs is restocking pretty often. So just have a look at their webpage. If it's not at the moment, you see this video. And then you can have a look at it. And a quick reminder, so for the affiliate code, it's Kali, key K-A-L i15 and it will also be down in the bio so if you want to find a link to this canvas everything is down below so i hope you enjoyed today's video i wish you a very lovely week and i hope you stay healthy and i hope you stay hydrated and bye guys